Let's go to Wisconsin now. Shaquille Brewster is there where there's another protest planned at, for the shutdown order, the stay at home order in that state. Shaq, it's supposed to start right now. What are you seeing? That's right, Katie. It just started a couple of minutes ago, and there are a few thousand people here already. Take a look behind me. We're on the steps of the state capitol, and you see people are just trying to argue that the state should reopen. Interest for this protest grew after Governor Evers, the Democratic governor here, extended the state's stay-at-home order that was originally supposed to end today. He extended it to May 26. People here saying they're frustrated with it. I spoke to one gentleman, and you saw the pictures that Sam had out of Georgia, one gentleman who said he wants to see more of what's going on in Georgia right now happened in Wisconsin. Listen to what he told me. I really like what the governor of Georgia is doing. He's opening up the state. You want that here in I would like that here. And you don't have to open up your business if you don't want to, or you don't have to go out if you don't want to, but it is open and then you get to choose. And I like the choice, the options that we could have. I spoke to a hairdresser who was in near tears explaining how she was frustrated by the situation, saying she wants to be able to operate her business again, saying she got that government stimulus check, she got the or she applied for the PPP loan, but she knows that she may she just may be a couple of weeks away from closing down her shop. I also spoke to the lieutenant governor of this state today, and he explained we, Wisconsin saw a spike in cases yesterday. Yes, they're increasing their testing in the state, but they also saw a spike in positive cases yesterday. He also also said, unlike other states, some neighboring states, Minnesota, for example, where you see uh, the government starting to reopen in phases, they can't do that in Wisconsin, he says, because of steps that happened here. It was just two weeks ago, Katie, where there was that election that you had there. The lieutenant governor now saying that 23 people who went out and voted, including some poll workers, tested positive for the virus. He's saying scenes like this won't help the situation either. Katie? It is a highly contagious virus. Shaq, uh, forgive me because I can't see you right now. I don't have a monitor in front of me. Some of the protests we've seen in the past have been largely political with a lot of political signage. What are you seeing there? Is this a, a largely political protest or are these people that are protesting the shutdown itself? You have both, Katie. The hairdresser that I mentioned, she said, yeah, I see it's political, but I want to stay out of that. This is about my business. But you also have a situation where you do see, there's a, uh, over my shoulder, it's not the camera view, but you see a flag that says Trump 2020. You see people talking about the governor, saying expel or quarantine Governor Evers. There's anti-abortion signs. There's long guns that are out by some of the protesters. So yes, there is a political tone in it. One of the groups organizing this is a, a pro-gun group. Another is a small business a caravan that has cars driving around honking their horns. So you have people prioritizing both issues. Katie? Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.